you have y equals 1 all over s squared plus 9. This thing is the same thing as saying s squared plus 9 r raised to the power minus 1. So we're going to apply chain rule. Let u equals s squared plus 9. Let y equals u minus 1. So that the u, the s equals 2x and the y, the s equals minus u minus 2. Rest the power, minus 2. So when interpreted, this will imply minus 1 all over u squared. Minus 1 all over u squared. So dy all over the s equals 2x times minus 1 all over u squared. To give us what? Minus 2s all over u squared. Recall that u equals what? s squared plus 9. Meaning that dy all over the s equals minus 2x all over s squared plus 9 r squared. But the challenge now is said the differential coefficient at the point 4 comma 1 all over 25. 1 over 25, we are not making use of it. We are just interested at the point of x. So the y, the differential coefficient will now give us, it will imply minus 2 into 4 all over 4 squared plus 9, all squared. Then, this will give us minus 8, all over 16 plus 9, all squared, to give us minus 8, all over 25, all squared. You multiply it out, 25 into the 0, 5, this is 5, carry to 10, 12, 5, 2, 6. So we'll have minus 8 all over 6, 2, 5. Therefore, the differential coefficient of the function y equals 1 all over s squared plus 9 equals what? Minus 8 all over 6 to 5. So, under this application, in the next one, we are still going to talk about the minimum and the maximum problem. The rate of change